Where else are you going to find a robot drummer? This guy who's pretty good at rapping. My wordplay hit a nice for my homies. My name is Kosha Dills. Put a spot on my head like Ginobili. You can kind of see my words represent. I concur when I be out in San Antonio like this year. I think he meant year. And thousands of people flocking from all over the world to one city to party, enjoy some music, films, and a whole lot more. We're talking South by Southwest in Austin, of course. Here's how it's all broken down. The fun kicks off with a film portion and then brings in interactive excitement and then ends with a whole lot of music. Big names from the TV screen to even the big screen, they show up to share their latest projects from red carpets galore, premieres and screenings, it's all there. Did you know that last year, over 2,300 music acts came to South by Southwest? Well, we caught up with rock and roll band Down and Outlaws from San Francisco to see why they decided to come to Texas. Uh, we just wanted to be here and be present and be part of everything and all the chaos that's here. I mean. Uh, uh, we've all heard about South by forever. We, you know, uh, we know anyone who's anybody or you know whatever is here, and um, so we just want to be a part of it and be a part of the experience. Even the guys from electric rock band Plaid Bricks were a little taken back by the South by Southwest experience. Uh, it's a different kind of scene down here with uh, uh, just like bands playing everywhere. I just, that's not something I've ever seen before, so it's pretty chill, pretty nice. I like it. Even as a first-timer, they know the impact that being at South by Southwest can have on an independent band. It's what you do if you're an indie band. <laughs> you know, uh, it's an awesome time to be here around tons of other indie bands and just make contacts and network with other like-minded people. I think it's really great to be a part of this big movement and uh, even though it's so diverse and there are so many different bands, it's really cool to just have like this specific venue with these certain bands and so you feel like a, in a tight knit group when you're in a venue but then you get on the streets and it's just tons of bands and tons of people. And a lot of all the other bands are in the same boat as you so it's kind of just like we're all in this ship together. <laughs> We also talked with veterans of South By, a hardcore pup group, Cancer Bats, on their piece of advice they give to fellow musicians who are trying their hand at South By for the very first time. Just to play every show like you're playing to a pack room. Like if there's 20 people or, or 2,000 people, like those 20 people could be more important in shaping your career than those 2,000 people that get to see you. You know what I mean? So you have to play you know, as hard as you can and to the best of your ability and don't scoff at a little show. Great advice, Cancer Bats. Always give 100%, even at small shows, at South by Southwest and in life. Hey, you never know. They could be the next Avenged Sevenfold. That is the magic of South by.